set up here in, in, uh, in Missouri. I think it's like October 28th. I made the drive over from Indiana yesterday. Uh, I got on here for four or five days before heading back to Tennessee. Um, this is one of our better farms here that, that I'm hunting this morning. We got a nice south, south southwest wind so it's blowing right kind of in my face and back down this tree line. So I'm, I'm hoping to catch deer coming between me and this pond back here has right in between a bean field so it could work if not i can at least see a little ways where i can hopefully get a beat on one of these good bucks we got on camera but regardless it's gonna be a great morning it's like 28 degrees it finally feels like deer season so i'm gonna hang in here and uh hopefully hopefully see something this morning pretty good this morning I guess I uh, I saw a nice little 10 point maybe like a like a 120 type 10 maybe 150 yards up on the other side of this bean field making a scrape I just I couldn't get any footage of it and I've had I've had two two smaller eights that like eight a 90 inch if that range but they uh they both came in. The one, the one caught my wind, but he didn't blow. So it's been good. It's about quarter after nine right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in here and see what else comes through. This, this cold weather's definitely got them up and on their feet. I'll set up for the afternoon hunt. It's, uh, it's kind of hot right now, but it's supposed to cool way down. This supposed to get down to like 39, right at dark. So. That'll be good. Hopefully the bucks get up uh, and get on their feet. We've got we've got a couple that are really nice. Um, so they haven't been too daylight active, but we've got one eight point that's huge. He's got tall tall tines, mass with everything. He looks great. And then we got a younger deer. He's probably three and a half, but he's got 16 scoreable points. Um, he would score a lot because of his points, but He's really young, and then we have one that I don't expect to see. He's been all nocturnal ever since we got our first picture of him. But uh, he's just an awesome mainframe 5x5 with uh, matching split G2s. set up here for what might be my last sit of this trip I haven't decided yet I, uh, it's Friday October 30th I might I might head back to Tennessee tomorrow morning it's supposed to be bad really high winds here first day back in Missouri it's uh it's kind of warm which is weird it's November 8th and it's 58 well, probably almost 60 degrees now but uh, it's still the rut, so we're gonna sit probably till 11, get down. I already had one just yearling buck come through, he's cruising the edge of these beans. Hop the fence into the neighbor's cattle pasture, so we're gonna sit in here. We've had a couple good bucks close to this area. We'll see if they, see if they want to show up in daylight. <laughs>
Uh, I f***ed up. I, I blew it on two bucks. I don't, I don't know if I've got like the worst case of buck fever right there with all hell breaking loose. But I f***ing, I, I missed that 16 point that we've had on camera. I missed him at like 30 yards. I, I drew on him at 10 and I'm sitting there and I'm following him the whole way. And I, I don't know if I rushed a shot or what, but the arrow went fall like three feet in front of him. And then this old gnarly buck that was hanging in the back looked like he had a, like a cactus growing out of his head. I don't think we've ever seen it before. He was at 20, 15 maybe, and just flat out missed him to the left. I, and it was the same, same thing, like three feet to the left. I don't know what the hell happened. But I'm going to sit here for a little bit, probably go grab my arrows. Hey, I, I, my I couldn't hardly get a lot of it on video, but I just got off of my stand. We finally had like a big temperature drop, it dropped over 20 to 25 degrees. I got up here and I was sitting down and all of a sudden this, this it, looked, it looked like an 11 point that we had on camera. He comes flying by me heading south and I'm like that's weird and all of a sudden I hear crashing around. This doe jumps across the ravine in front of me and there's five other bucks just on her ass running her all over and it, it's they're running all around the bean field right now. It's absolutely insane. So I kind of ran off for a second. I don't know how far they went or anything, but that was just an insane start to the day. It's only noon right now. This has been a, a, a bull hunter's dream for November. I've seen I, eight different bucks. They're all just running, they're running does all over in this soybean field out here. I'm kind of out of the action a little bit. I'm off by about, about 100 yards. Um, I'm gonna hang tight and see what happens because they're, I mean, they're running does all over the place. So I've seen two Two good bucks that I press you, and then that five point that's got just a long, long uh, spike for the one side. I I might shoot him just because he looks cool. But they chased a doe. They chased a doe off to the west. There was three bucks running her, and I don't know if they'll make their way back here. But anyway, it was it was cool just to even see that. So ain't 30 right now. So I'm gonna hang in here for a while.